Ah, uh, how's it going, man? Yeah, good. Um, so I'm really enjoying the show uh, so so far. I just spoke with David, who's absolutely lovely, as expected. Um, I'm just wondering, because obviously Shit's Creek was such a wonderful show too. Did you guys see that? And does it help signing on to a project when you know those behind it have already worked on other, on other great shows? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of times, though, for me, I tried to just remove, strip all of that away and just look at the script and just take the script for what it was. So for me, the script alone just got me so excited. I think David did such an amazing job. Um, so that got me excited. And then all those extra added bonuses just makes it more like, oh, please give me the call, you know? Yeah. And you want someone you want someone that Scott has been in the in the trenches a little bit when you kind of go into a, something that might run for a good while. Like the, it's yeah. great working with you know indie movie directors and all of that, but you want somebody who's actually made television to make television. Otherwise, it can get real hard, um, in my experience. So um, I, I I wasn't even a, a huge um, Shit's Creek guy, but I love that. It I when I had seen it, I really enjoyed it, and I thought that the jokes were really strong in it. And I thought when I read the I read the book before I read the script, and I thought, oh, well, that makes sense together. His mind and the way that he can bring a lightness of touch to a big concept show like this, I thought was really smart. Yeah, and he's got such a brilliant mind, but he's also such a good human. And I think to be uh, the top of the chain and like the captain of the ship, all of that feeds down and it's a great, great experience. He's amazing. Obviously, the, when the uh, the show starts, it's your character's Chris's uh, 40th birthday. Um, I When I turned 30, I'm 34 now, I think. When I turned 30, I didn't really feel like anything. I didn't feel that kind of significant milestone feeling. How was turning 40? Does that make you quite reflective? Man, it did for me anyway. And I don't, I don't know if it's, because I think it's, I've been thinking about this lately a little bit because the show is a bit of a fucking identity crisis of a show and a midlife crisis of a show. I'm definitely around the middle of my life, fingers crossed. But I think around turning 40 was also like, I'm done having kids probably. I'm kind of settled down. You know what the job, I think when you're still in your thirties and you're still like going and going and going, but I was like, oh shit, well, this is it. Where am I? Like I'm on the other side of the world. This is a bit weird. <laughs> and all of these kind of things do kind of dawn on you. And we had a murder mystery for my 40th. Mm. And it seems kind of like God, the whole thing felt so dramatic suddenly where it was like, that's it. <laughs> your thirties, the fun's over. Kill it! It's murdered, <laughs> and we don't know why because it's a mystery. It's like the T-shirt in the show. Like, yes, makes me laugh, but also makes me feel very. That's exactly sad. right. That's exactly right. So good luck with that. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> this show is obviously like a lot of it is about this the kind of notion of our kind of own potential and stuff. I just wondered, do you guys sort of think about your own sort of potential? Do you ever stop and think? You know, like I've. I've done all right. We're all quite self-critical, which is nothing wrong with being self-critical, but sometimes it's quite good to be self-congratulatory. I've got that word out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I, I, yeah, I feel like watching the show, you can't help but ask those questions, right? Um, but I feel very blessed and very uh, fortunate to feel like the potential, the path I've chosen is right for me. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with what I do, even with all the hard work, the long hours, the uncertainty. Uh, that's part of the mystery. It's like pulling out something out of the Applejack's box or, <laughs> you know, it's just kind of figuring out um, what brings you joy and purpose. And I think I've been very fortunate and blessed to know at such a young age because that kind of was my morpho at such a young age, knowing, okay, this is what I want to do. Now I know the steps to kind of get there. Um, so for me, it's been been a good experience. Yeah, I don't know potential. Like, I don't know if I've ever thought about it. Like, I don't know if it's, and we were talking about this a bit earlier. I think there's a difference in Europe and in America between things like that. The idea of goals and potential and we just don't fucking do them really at home, do we? So it is, it's a, it, I don't know why necessarily. I don't think one way is better than the other. I think there is something aspirational about the American model that I just can't really buy into because I'm too much of a cynic. <laughs> but I do think that there is something useful for for them in that. But no, I've never thought what my potential would be. I don't know if I don't know if I would find it useful. I wouldn't. I don't know what the fucking parameters are. You need to have a go on the big door prize, then I think. I mean, that's <laughs> it, man. You need to be first yeah. alive. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time today, guys. Best luck with the release of the show. Thank Appreciate you so much. it, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!